Hi, everyone. This is TJ Muleman, founder and CEO of Standard Co. We're a data, data platform that works with organizations from around the world to help them collect, manage, and analyze their data. We're here today to talk about Metabase, our favorite analytics tool. Um, and what I wanted to do today, this, this video is either going to be for those of you who just want to understand joins, uh, either very short or just a couple minutes longer, uh, depending on what you're looking for. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, in the question editor, uh, how do you join tables? This is something that you uh, commonly see when you're wanting to combine multiple data sets into one virtual kind of data set. Um, and I want to show you how that works briefly. So I have a, this is a, a set of students, a, a sample data set that we have. And uh, we'll go ahead and just show you what that looks like. Again, set of students, pretty straightforward. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to join that to another table that has the same set of students that have performed some sort of evaluation. Uh, so let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, join the table. I can pick another table to join this against. So it's this table. Okay. And when you do a join, you pick which uh, columns connect the two tables. So in this case, it's student and student. So they're in both tables. Um, and the thing I wanted to show you is I'm going to go ahead and well, I'm going to change this to account just to kind of simplify, make it really easy to see what I'm trying to demonstrate. So I've joined those two tables together and I brought back 218 rows. Uh, and so in my mind, I was expecting 103. Now, let me show you what uh, I mean by that. When you do a join, there's two kinds of ways to join data. There's what's called actually there's three, but I'm only going to cover two. There's the left outer join, which basically says bring back every row in this left table and only the ones that match in the right table. So this means whatever number of people or rows you have in this leftmost table, that's how many rows you're going to get back. I most frequently actually do the inner join. Okay, now what an inner join actually does is says bring me back only the people, the rows in this. Uh, table where they match this one. So when I rerun this count, I had 200 and I think eight last time. I'm getting down 103. This is what I was expecting. So the reason I'm bringing this up is I write a lot of joins in SQL and most, I would say 99% of the time I'm doing an inner join and not a left join. Um, so I had a hard time in Metabase figuring out why I was getting a different result set until I discovered this little guy, which lets me toggle between left right and inner join. The right join does exactly what you might think, except it uses the right hand table uh, as the authoritative uh, table. Um, so if you're just wondering how to toggle the different joins in Metabase, you can probably stop here. Um, if you are like most people who would be using this tool sort of unclear on what a join is, let's hop over here. Okay, so what I've done is I've basically created in Excel or Google Sheets, uh, a simple example of what uh, these tables look like. You've got your two tables here, your student list, which again has, in this case, seven rows, and your projects uh, uh, list table, which has four. And when you do a left outer join, you're gonna return every single one of these students and just the ones they match up here. So you can see how that looks. You've got Paco here, where his project ID is one and the project name is cool stuff. The join is on this user ID table, this user ID which joins us over to here. Same thing with Samuel. Samuel is uh, project ID two, it's other things. There you go. Project Excelsior, Nachos Kickoff, but these bottom ones. So they're returned because we're doing a left outer join and, and, and the project would be null. And again, the reason I prefer an inner join is most of the time I'm wanting to combine these two tables where they align. Uh, and so an inner join is going to discard these three rows where they don't connect to the projects table. And so I just wanted to demonstrate that um, in, I've been writing SQL uh, for <laughs> a long time, uh, almost 25 years. And, and joins have been was one of the first things I learned when I started writing SQL back in 1998. And uh, uh, it was a concept that really vexed me then. And it still kind of vexes me now. And Metabase, thankfully, has made it easier to um, connect has made it easier to kind of connect your tables, but it's important to understand the different join types. Left outer join brings back all these rows and the ones that match here. Right outer join brings back all these rows and the ones that match here. And inner join brings back just the rows that match between these two tables. So hopefully this was helpful. 
uh, and gets you on your way to using joins and, and connecting disparate data sets. Um, if you found this useful, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell the world about uh, our tool set and how we can help them implement dashboards and manage their data. Thanks so much.